Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wahoo Warrior channel. It's only been forever, like always, because I'm a loser. But I am highly motivated lately. Uh, I'm going down to play at uh, ClockCon down in Missouri. I'm planning to take the camera, put some battle reports up. And as you know, it's difficult to kind of do the battle reports, kind of in the nice laid back format at a tournament. But it'll be something. Uh, Ryan was supposed to come up tonight, but he had got his work schedule changed, so he wasn't able to come. So I have been working on a new army. I've been really uh, kind of busting my butt on it. It's not quite 100% finished. This is the army I'm planning to play at LVO because uh, the wife and I are looking to go to that. And then uh, Adepticon and Operation uh, Snafu up in Minneapolis. Uh, I want to win it overall this year. And uh, it's a veteran list, but it's, uh, it's, it's kind of a cheese list. Uh, but as with any list in Bolt Action, there's, there's some, there's all, with the scenarios and stuff, there's always some uh, potential for uh, shortcomings. But I'll go over my list with you. And uh, just to let you know, I'm going to uh, Operation Claw, Claw Con, it's not Operation, down in uh, St. Uh, Roberts, Missouri, it's at a, like a, near an army base. Should be pretty interesting. There's going to be at least 30 players there. It's going to be a golden dog tag event. I have not won a golden dog tag before. Uh, I've gotten some nice awards and I've won some stuff, but I haven't won overall Adepticon and I have not won a golden dog tag. So that is on my agenda. I'm going to go over my army with you a little bit. Uh, it's not completely done. I have tomorrow. I'm probably going to head out tomorrow around 3 or 4 o'clock. I think it's like a seven hour drive down there uh, so I should be able to at least finish up a couple things I need to do but uh, here's what I got I'm gonna, I don't know if the camera will flip I don't think it will now that I've already started it but I will go ahead and do my best to show you so I'm running the Gurkhas 153rd parachute battalion and you say Gurkhas and uh, stubborn paratroopers Sean you're a dick and I say uh, yeah I kind of am. Uh, now, I doubt the stubborn will really come into effect too often because I'm running uh, to get up enough order dice to make it competitive. I have some fragile stuff in here. Normally, the stubborn helps out the uh, airborne because it's really tough to take off their order dice. But anyway, so being the dick that I am, 153rd Airborne Battalion, the Battle of Infall. Uh, you can see my uh, display board's kind of a, a dis one of the ones I had before. I added some uh, palm trees and stuff that I bought from Josh John, and it makes it kind of uh, nice. It's Infall Road. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Battle of Kohima or Battle of Infall, I, I would highly encourage you to check it out. Uh, they basically call it the Stalingrad of the East, and in that battle, the Japanese were pushing into India. Uh, this happened the same time that uh, uh, D-Day was going on, so there wasn't a lot of coverage on it. But uh, it, they, they call it the uh, Thermopylae of, uh, of the whatever. And basically, uh, what happened is the, the, the Japanese in, started to invade India. Uh, the 153rd Gurkha Airborne was part of the 50th Airborne, uh, Indian Airborne. And they were rushed in to kind of slow down the Japanese. And they took some heavy, heavy losses, but they were able to slow down the Japanese. And they were subsequently able to stall their advance. Uh, with the help of other units, obviously. Uh, but then, uh, then the next for the next couple months, uh, the Infall Road, which is a major supply route, uh, they just kind of ad hoc divisions teamed up with the uh, tank divisions, and they cleared the Japanese out of there. So that's what I'm trying to represent. So you can see my Gurkhas. Uh, they're a mixture of a Warlord box, and then uh, oh boy, what's the name of that company? I was I'm very happy with. Uh, their product and I'm very very bad about keeping the information to share it with people gosh darn it uh, offensive miniatures I think does that sound right the assault group so the assault group if you're looking for some nice models with and I needed some Gurkhas with some machine guns uh, the assault group uh, I've, I like their models quite a bit uh, so they're sprinkled in here. So here's some of my Gurkhas, and I'm not sure. Like I said, the camera won't flip around the other way. So if it's if it's horrible, then it's horrible. 
And I've got another squad of Gurkhas back here. So I've got four squads of Gurkha paratroopers. Now at the Battle of Infall, they never they never did drop there. They uh, they had to move down uh, as fast as they could. Uh, they were on training mission. They were on a training mission, and they uh, with some elements of artillery, and they had to get down there and, and try to stop the Japanese advance. So I've got eight man squad Gurkhas with five submachine guns. There's the the NCO has one and four others. I have another submachine gun squad there, eight guys with five subs. I have two Gurkha rifle squads. It's eight dudes with uh, anti tank grenades. I give them anti tank grenades. I think it'd be a nice surprise for anybody. And then I have the other eight man rifle squad with anti tank grenades. So then what I have, I have a uh, irregular unit and I made them veteran. It was actually only supposed to be seven. I'm in the middle of basing them. Uh, I thought about making them regular, but I figure I'm going to stick with kind of as much of a veteran possible theme. Now, uh, the irregulars are pretty sweet because they set up like snipers. So after I put like maybe my mortar spotter and they put a sniper out, I can put that squad out there about 12 inches away from, uh, from uh, one of their snipers and maybe go over and kill him as soon as possible. They also get to run through any kind of terrain in the first turn of the game as if it's clear. Uh, so then, so I've got uh, seven veterans. There's no submachine gun in there, just rifles. Uh, now they're not stubborn and they're not Gurkhas, so they don't get the Gurkha rules, but they do get the British rule. And I took up and at him. So with Gurkhas and up and at him, that's brutal. And to hopefully take um, advantage of that, I've got four trucks. I have a 30 CWT truck, which holds uh, 10 people. And I have three 15 CWT trucks that hold uh, eight. So I'll have an eight man squad, eight man squad, eight man squad. And then eight man squad with a lieutenant and a medic. I do have a veteran medic. He's right here. I have a veteran second lieutenant with a helper. I have the free artillery observer here and I gave him two guys. Uh, so I gave him two guys. That way it makes it uh, basically a three man submachine gun team. Once he fires off his artillery barrage, you can actually maybe do something. Uh, move up, cont contest an objective, put some fire on something. Now, then I have a medium mortar, and then I have a Humber armored car, Mark II, so it's got the light autocannon with a coax medium machine gun. I just needed something with recce to be able to help uh, dictate some of the uh, tank deployment in the game. And then I have a Lee tank. The Lee tank is badass. Uh, nine armor, it easily catches fire, has thin sides. Medium anti-tank gun, it's the 75, it's to the front and to the right. Light anti-tank gun, coax on medium machine gun, and then a cupola mounted medium machine gun. So, I don't know, if, what's that on there? So, uh, 15 order dice, 1250 points, it's actually 1248. So tomorrow, uh, I'm got to do some basing on the armored car, finish up the lee basing. And that one truck and then I'm gonna probably try to paint those trucks so they're not white I don't think I'll have them completely done but I just don't want them to be white and I gotta do the basing on my irregulars so I'm really looking forward to this event uh, hoping to win a gold dog tag if not hopefully you have some really good games so all right guys I will take my camera and I will post some videos as much as I can have a good night